I think they're going really well. Uh, obviously starting off, there's going to be some rust that a lot of people have to get off before they start to, you know, really get back into it. Plus with the freshmen trying to coach them up, get them going along too. Uh, it was a little struggle at first, but it wasn't anything bad. It's just normal, and I think it's going really, really good right now. And I've never been a look in the rearview mirror guy, but I think as you go into every single season, you have to kind of, okay, who's our playmakers? How are we going to get the ball to those guys in a position where they can do what they do best? And part of camp early in camp is always going to be uh, trying to identify who those guys are. And I never want a team to feel like they're going to be one-dimensional and dependent on one guy. That's, that's not, that's not, it's the team game. There you go. It was nice going into the off season, you know, being the starter and then going in and getting the first reps, getting the everything. And it makes you focus up more because instead of maybe just kind of sitting in the back and then, oh, because I know someone's going in front of me and watching them, what they do. Now it's like, okay, figure this out on your own. And I think that really helped me develop mentally and physically with footwork and, you know, the reads and everything. I'm looking for more points. I'd like to think that we'll be a little bit more uh, wide open. I'm not saying, you know, we have to force ourselves to throw the ball down the field more. I think we have some guys on the outside. I think our passing game will be vastly improved. Red 56. Hit. Collins never been afraid to work, you know, and he looks good. Yeah, he's done a good job working hard. This is really the first full, con I mean, I'm, I was trying to think about it, you know, and I think this is dang near the first full cycle he's been through 100% healthy. I just feel stronger, I feel more explosive, everything just, Coach Sharp really helps, you know, me out and everybody out um, in the weight room this year and getting ready for this year, because I needed more weight, I needed more strength. Sometimes when people run into me, I feel more like it's kind of a collision and stop, not they run into me and I go flying five yards. It's, it feels more, I feel more confident running the ball. We're getting better every single time. I see our footwork getting better. All right, we're making points of emphasis on things and we're getting more accurate with the ball, okay? But don't lose technique because you're trying to go fast, okay? I still want to go fast. You still want to have great technique. You still want to have great technique. You know, the. Football's a pretty easy game, you know, you got to play low, you got to block, you got to tackle, you got to, you know, all those types of things. And, and we make it, sometimes we make it a little, as coaches, we make it a little bit too complicated, you know, and we want that energy and we want those things, but it still comes down to playing low, it still comes down to taking the correct step, it still t comes down to, you know, the fundamentals of the game. And Hit! Perfect. Oh, nice play. Nice play by the DB. Hit! Nice, Charles. Yeah, I always, I'm always picking him to throw it to. <laughs> this year, I think instead of the one major playmaker, we have you know five or six playmakers. Not you know the superstars yet, but potential to be superstars. I think. You know, I mean, James Brook is one of those guys that can just go up and get a ball whenever. And you know, Humphrey's always been you know catch the ball, break a few tackles, and get upfield. Casey, obviously. Hey. Ernest Calhoun is just so quick. I mean, hard to catch. Just Charles Chandler, even Chris tough? Blake, like everything. I came off too fast. Yeah. I'm trying to. So I was supposed to. Go yeah, down. you would have got the ball. Yeah, no, you were fine. Yeah, you were fine. But uh, if you would have waited a second, the linebacker behind you throw it out. But he didn't have time. Because last year, I mean, I know the guys trusted me and everything, but there's just some games where you know it just wasn't happening for me, and I, I just was thinking too much. And now that it's, you know, I've had another year. I know the guys better. Just everything and. Some of the freshmen coming in like know who I am. It makes me feel more confident in taking that role and wanting to be that role. And, and like I was debating if I should just throw the 98 because it was man. But then I saw the matchup of Barr on Casey. So I looked there first and I said, no, I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do. But then I, I realized I was too late. You so I went back. You have the freedom to do that. Okay. But you got to choose a side and stay I know. I, I was just. Yep. Okay, Whatever I just didn't choose. feel, I didn't know if you would yell nope, at me, nope, so you're good. if I saw that match, I could just went to him. Okay, because that's why, that's why I looked and then I went back. And did you go inside of him? Yeah. Okay, that kind of threw me off a little bit. I said, now, uh, don't think you've arrived. He doesn't. He's got a good, he's got a really good attitude about that. But, you know, I said, remember last year, I was just kind of trying to, to massage you through and help our team win and everything, you know, and I was... I was pretty nice. I said, don't expect that all the time now, because we got to take the next step. 
you know, and make sure that we're improving on the technical aspects and those types of things. And he's handled that great. Collins, is, she's sharp. Nate Strock's sharp. I mean, you can watch these guys both come out here and throw. Those are those guys can wing it around. They're good players. They are good players. It's all about our attitude. What are we thinking? Remind each other of that. Remind each other of that in that situation. We know third and ten, man, we're at a disadvantage. Somebody's got to do something great. You know, Casey, I think he said it to me at least 100 times this camp already. He said, I want you to be perfect. I want you to be perfect. Every time I miss a little throw or it's just a little bit off, he's like, I want you to be perfect. And she, Seriously, I want you to be perfect. I want you to be perfect, you know? You want freaking 10 touchdowns. It's nice to know that someone else is, you know, pushing for me too, and like I'm pushing for them. So I think they see it in me, and I, I think I have the potential to do it. It's just I got to find it. I got to keep working. I mean, any, any person that's playing at this level still has that potential, it's just the ones who you know, accomplish the goal of getting there. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I can do that this year.